Now, I've had some emails from subscribers asking about the default constructor and wanting me to expand upon that. So we can do that now and take care of it in this video. So let's go ahead and write up our program here really quick. We're going to first do a int variable. We're going to assign this a value of 10. And then we're going to do another int y. And we're going to assign this a value of 11. And then we're going to go down here. And then we'll type in a shortcut to get our main method. And all you have to do for that is PSVM and then hit tab and boom, we've got our main method. So we're going to come down here and create our object. And I'll explain this in a minute. And we're just going to call this test. We'll use the new keyword. And here's where we will call our constructor. And I will explain this in a minute. Semicolon. And then we can do a system.out.print. Now a shortcut for that is S out. Hit tab, and there you go. And we're going to print out this variable, x. Great. So here we go. Take a deep breath, guys. So this is the default constructor right here. Now, when we came in here, we had to tell the class that we were going to base our object off of, which was new empty. And of course, this is the class we're basing it off of. So we write in new empty right here. This is going to be the name of our object, which is test. Now. At this point, nothing has happened yet, okay? Nothing has happened. In order to get a main going, you must create a new object. If you don't do that, you've got nothing. So we put the new keyword here. And once you use this new keyword, this default constructor gets invoked. And what does the default constructor do? He has one purpose and one purpose only in his life. And that is to create a new instance or a new copy of this class and the name of it will be called test. That is our object. So again, nothing can happen without this new keyword. Think of it like that. We're saying, hey, I want a new copy of the class new empty created and the constructor. And that's what that name means, by the way. I will construct a new instance of this class for you. Now, what do I mean nothing can happen? Well, let's go ahead and comment this out. Whoops, this isn't going to work now, right? We can't do anything because our object is not even going to be created. So we have to uncomment this out and then we're good to go. So again, this has to happen right here before anything else can happen. So let's go ahead and run this and fine, we got 10. We didn't use Y, that's fine. That can just sit there by its lonesome. We could go ahead and use that later if we want. And we will use that later. So let's close this out. Now, the question some people are having is, where is this constructor? In other words, people have emailed me and asked me, where is it? In your previous examples, it was typed out up here. And the answer to that is, you don't need to type out the constructor up here. If you do not specify a constructor up here, then when you go to create your new object, the default constructor gets invoked automatically by Java. That is, he assumes, hey, you just told me I need to create a new object, a new instance of this class, so I'm going to go ahead and create this default constructor for you. And what that is called is called an implicit constructor. That means we didn't write it out, so it's implicit that that's what we wanted, so Java creates a default constructor. Now, when you use the default constructor, you cannot use anything between these parentheses. It is called a no argument or zero argument constructor. That means we can't put any values in here. Therefore, we have to either create the value here, assign it here, or you know, you can go ahead and use your object to assign a value. If we click this, you know, we could we could go x equals 12. You know, you get the idea. We're not going to do that here, though. You get the idea. Now, so what I said was this was an implicit constructor that we did not type out up here. Now, let's go ahead and type that out up here. And let's say public new empty. And so there we go. We typed this out. This is called an explicit constructor. By the way, this constructor is the same as this constructor. We just decided to go ahead and type it out. So Java sees it here and says, fine. In fact, if we run this, we'll get the same result, which is 10. There is no difference between this one and this one. The only difference is we decided to go ahead and type this out. Now, we could go ahead and place the value of this variable down here. So watch this. 
let's get rid of this and let's now say inside this constructor it equals 10 and we'll go ahead and run this and we should get the same result 10. now what happened here well okay we basically said when we create this new instance of this class i want you to go ahead and assign this value of 10 to this variable at the time that this new instance of this class new empty is created now keep in mind we are just assigning a value here nothing is going through these parentheses remember that we're not passing anything into these we're just saying assign a value right here at the time that the new instance is created with this constructor so i hope that clears a little bit of it up and i will see you guys in the next video